So, Kenny, looking ahead to Plymouth, uh, another opportunity for you to show what your side's all about in front of the Sky cameras. Yeah, looking forward to the game. It is a big opportunity, as you say. Um, not, not playing Saturday, but then uh, a live TV game is a great one. We're waiting on a, a few people at the moment with the likes of uh, Andy Cannon, maybe fit over the next couple of days. Jack Watmore has a chance. Uh, Sean Raggett has a knock. Uh, Tom Naylor has a knock. So, you know, quite a busy few days for us over the weekend to see exactly where those guys are. But either way, you know, our, our side by Monday will be ready and looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be one of the big questions around the game. Is there the potential for, for any returns on Monday? Yeah, we, we have, um, as I said, you know, Andy Cannon, Jack Watmore have, have a chance of being fit. Um, but similarly, you know, like the likes of Sean Raggett and Tom, Tom Naylor have knocks and they haven't trained yet. And whether they can train Saturday and Sunday, um, I'm optimistic that they can. So we'll have to see how those knocks clear up and uh, people come back out of the treatment room uh, before we go down there on Sunday and look forward towards uh, Monday's game. Having slightly longer to wait for the game, has that sort of given you the opportunity to tinker with your training routine a little bit? Yeah, we've, we've obviously had the, the, the West Ham game in the EFL Trophy, which you know we played on Tuesday, which we played a very young side, and it was a very good opportunity for, for our young players because they haven't had many with, with COVID. They haven't had many chances in training, and uh, for them to get out on Fratton Park straight away after the FA Youth Cup the week before does give us a, a you know good gauge of where they are and them them an opportunity that they're looking for. All young players are looking for chances and looking for opportunities, so that's been good. And then for the first team lads, it is a little bit of a break and has been a little bit of a a, a break, not a break from training, but from the games. Uh, get one or two people fit if we can just um, uh, have a a little bit of a rest and a breather, and then go uh, again when the, when the games come thick and fast. Because you know after the travelling to Plymouth, we have two home games with with both Crewe and Oxford coming up before we play Kings Lynn, Kings Lynn again in the FA Cup. And looking at Plymouth in particular, they've sort of started the strongest, it seems, out of the three promoted teams from last year. Do you feel like you, you'll be taking on a club that have a bit of momentum behind them at the moment? Yeah, they do. And if you're looking at their home record, it's excellent. They're five wins and a draw and, and have been really strong at, at home park and you know play a definite way. They're well coached, very, very well coached. And, and as you say, have, have some momentum after coming up last year and we'll see every game as an opportunity and to be able to attack it. Uh, so, you know, for us anyway, we know um, while uh, there's all different types of tests in this division, uh, the sides that come up uh, start very positive and Plymouth have. And obviously both sides just outside the playoffs as it stands, does that sort of give a bit more incentive as well as they're both looking to sneak in? Yeah, and, and you know, you're looking at points total at this stage of the season, which we are, you know, both both sides are within touching distance at the top, uh, with so much of the season to go and, and you know, their, their league position is, you know, is very, very, very close to the top and you know, a good run can get you right in there.